in five hours' time, it starts. Whether we're ready or not, the news ends and we go, hello, and we have to talk for three hours. You really are worried about No, I just want to have some time preparing for it. Just panicking, man. It's absolutely critical that before we Why do... are you taking us there in a Cadillac? Because it's an appropriate car to do it in. That's the right... Why? Because the local radio DJs, that's what they... There are two types of local radio DJs, OK? There are those that drive a Cadillac and those that want to drive a Cadillac. Do you oh, know we'll... this is really a Saab, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yes. Do you realise that, Hamid? Do you know that? The, the indicator stalk is straight from a Saab. The steering wheel is a Saab steering wheel. Some Everything of... in... The gear lever is a Saab gear lever. The engine that, door that handle. handbrake is Saab. Can we no. just take the whole Saab thing as red, then, and maybe move on? Actually, we couldn't move on because we were stuck in a big traffic jam. This is BBC Southern Counties Radio. This is Southern what we've got to do, OK? Radio. Long may you reign. This is us. But we're still looking for somebody who shares their birthday with the Queen, OK? So if you know somebody, if it's Social you, if it's your mum, stuff, friend, relevant to your granddad, listeners, granddad, local... friend across the road, somebody good. What? We'll manage. All right, fine. Well, you just make it up when they say... How hard can it be, anyway? So this 2.8... It's the, it's a V6, not a straight six. A V6. It's the sub V6. It's a V6, it's a it's V6 a but more, more important, do you have any idea how long we've spent in this jam? Soon we were moving again, but Hammond was still in a bit of a tizzy. We'll have to introduce the travel and the weather and the news and the headlines on the half hour. I can talk about the weather. You can't have just. You, have you got enough legroom back there? I never thought I'd say this sitting in the car behind Hammond, but I haven't. Hey, look at that! Do you have to? You've just put it in second. I don't bother trying to make this. I'm only trying to give you the benefit of my experience. What? It's the cruise control. Leave it alone. I've just realised I can take control. <laughs> <laughs> With me on the throttle, we were soon in Brighton. With Hammond still wondering what we were going to do on the show, and James and I wondering why anyone would want to buy the cramped and expensive Cadillac with its bad clock and soggy suspension. So, in other words, to buy this car, what you've got to do is say, no, I don't want the Lexus, I don't want the Mercedes, I don't want the BMW, I don't want the Audi, I more want a Cadillac. How f Why would you turn down all those cars to have this? Right, let's go. With zero hour fast approaching, even Jeremy got busy. Got it. As I acquainted myself with the studio, James set about mastering some of the station's other technical equipment. With just a few minutes to go, a quarter of a million Southern Counties listeners were starting their journeys home. Richard, where's the turntable? I brought the records. <laughs> Jeremy, there is no turntable. It's 2006. And they were all expecting their usual slick and helpful drive time show. You've got your interview first, haven't you, as well? Who? What? What interview? You've got, oh my god, that's me. I haven't got the. Oh, James, you can't just nick those. MacArthur. We were primed and ready. BBC Southern Counties Radio. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. That shouldn't have happened. I'm going to fade it out, and then you're going to talk. Right. Um... Is that uh... it? Is that your intro? Uh... Can I just say good afternoon? This is still BBC Southern Counties Radio. And we weren't what you'd call slick. Can I do the weather? Yeah. Uh, I've lost it. Have you got the headlines? Yeah. I've got them. Yeah. No, you do them. I haven't got any headlines. And the jingles Richard had brought along were dreadful. <laughs> so you think of this one, that is great. I've been driving in my car, listening to Jeremy Larson. How much did you spend making those? Five pounds a pop. 
No matter, we would redeem ourselves with my new, brilliant and extremely complicated traffic system. What I've done here is I've fixed up uh, a link between the Highways Agency's uh, headquarters in Godston in Surrey so I can see all the traffic cameras from all the motorways in the region. Now what's happening is we've got an outside broadcast truck um, at Godston. It's firing its signal up to a satellite 22,000 miles in space back down to White City in London. They're filing down to a switching station in Tunbridge Wells and here we are in the studio looking and I, if I can swing the camera around now we can get it off the main pictures. I can even <laughs> zoom in. With full control of the cameras, Jeremy could reveal his big plan. Instead of telling you where the traffic jams are, I am going to give you the registration number of the car that has caused them. The so, he's not just reporting on the traffic, the he's bossing very, it about. Very brave. Now, who's this except for coming down in the Volkswagen van? You're leaving a 200-yard gap there. Now, close up. While Jeremy was shouting at the traffic, James and I were getting to grips with the music. No, don't tell me. As promised earlier, it is Wang Chung and Dance Hall Days. Oh, you sprung that on me, rather. Do you want to do that again, James? As promised earlier, it's Wang Chung and Dance Hall Days. Maybe just once more for me, mate. Just play something else. Oh, all right. Oh, it's right. Yeah. <laughs> He's no idea. Yeah, he is, he? <laughs> um, I'd just like to apologise. BBC Southern Counties Radio Travel. Hello, uh, is that me? That's, that was slick. It was time for another of Jeremy's rubbish travel reports. Oh, no, look! look, at that. look Somebody, at that. here we go, somebody in a... It seems to oh, be a Land Rover Discovery has jackknifed while carrying a trailer. No, it's it's a 4 by 4 it's a good job it was, that's why he's still alive. Lucky you didn't listen to the uh, Liberal Democrats on that one. The two outer lanes of the motorway, have, have, they, please get out of them, because they're blocked by an idiot in a Mitsubishi who's managed to crash into his own trailer. Um, and people are moving over far too soon, which means that the motorway network is not being fully utilised. We paid for it, drive right up to use the crash, it. use it, and then get your window down and tell the man exactly what you think of his driving. Precisely. Oh, no, what we've got here is a like travel flash, it. actually. Uh, my thanks to Janice. Uh, she tells us that in Dorking High Street, a caravan has come adrift of the car blocking one lane. The police are in attendance. Police, are you armed? I hope they are. They could take it out and just shoot the drivers. Thank you very much. That's The Travel with Jeremy Clarkson. <laughs> Even we could see the show was pretty bad. But then it got worse. 204 for nine, the latest score. Carl Hopkinson, 45. Rana is 26, not out. Three wickets apiece for Dominic Thornley and Sean Irvine. As Sorry. for Surrey, Sorry. they're going much... That happens. 53 for three, is that good? I don't understand. They've got 253 runs and they've lost three wickets, sir. It is cricket. He's it's a angry. game that's been played in this country for about 300 years. What, the same why game? why don't you get the and Observer's Book of good. Cricket, which will tell you all of the regulations that you need to know, and then you'll be OK. Well, now... I'm... I'm sorry. Worse still, my traffic system really wasn't working out as planned. The cameras were not able to give enough details, so my reports were becoming a little vague. Jeremy, go. It's all completely hopeless. Everywhere I can see people in Astra's. M25, Godston's jammed up at Junction 6. Barrow Grip. Don't use it. Don't use it. Stay at work. Be productive and buy a helicopter. It's not particularly helpful what you're telling them there. No, I therefore decided to personalise my reports. Hello there. Hello, how are you? Um, a bit fed up as I can't work out whether I'm supposed to be turning off the M25 or not. We're yeah. trying to get home tonight. Where, where are you? So you're going I'm going anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. You, my son, have had it. Oh, thank God. Just, I'm screwing it up. Can I... I... With the traffic system ruined, we were running out of things to say. Which is, if you use a jet wash, should the bonger on each cycle go off at the end of the cycle or in the middle. If the bonger goes off at the end of the foamy brush cycle and you've only done the bonnet, you've had it. The switchboard began to light up with angry listeners, one of whom was called Mrs Smith. Mrs Smith. Hello, Mrs Smith. I came home from work at five o'clock and what a load of rubbish this is and I think it's absolutely dreadful. I've been an avid listener to Southern Counties for a number of years. For God's sake, bring back Dominic. Busby and all the rest of them. Yeah. It's all a load of rubbish. Thank oh. you and good night. With the locals ready to lynch us, we decided to get out early. 
This is a nine minute song. By the time it's over, our show's over. We could be. Do well, you want to walk through Brighton after the show we just did? I've got the car around the back. So, right. By the time this is over, we can't do it. Right. No, 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 just back. Down the back stairs. Down the stairs. Yeah. Right. I'm going. Sorry. The car park is melting in the dark.